Friends, I wanted to bring the children and the families in our church a message after what has been a very difficult week for everybody. I'm aware that we've got families in the church who are on the front line, are doctors, nurses, teachers, and work in the emergency services. And please be assured that you are all in our prayers. For our young folk who have ended school, the primary sevens who never thought the last day would probably end on Friday, and those who have been studying hard for exams and will no longer be sitting them, it's times of uncertainty. For our children, there's also an element of fear. They've been watching the news, hearing stories, schools are now closed and they don't quite know what to make of it. I just wanted to let you know what we're going to do in church. Obviously, we can't meet eh, as per the government guidelines, so I'll bring a podcast each Sunday morning, which will be a short service, a couple of prayers, hymns and a sermon. But we also hope to post a video on the Sunday Club page so that we can keep in touch with our families. And I'd really like that to be as interactive as possible. Let our young folk post messages back or pictures or if they can build Lego during the week and keep us up to date with each other. The Bible passage I'm going to look at this week in our sermon in the podcast is John chapter 14, where Jesus says, My peace I leave with you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Friends, faith does not stop danger. But we don't have to let the fear steal our joy. The opposite of fear is not courage, but is love. So for our young folk who are going to be in the house these next few weeks, know that you're loved. You're loved by your parents, you're loved by the church, and that you're loved by God. And what's become our Sunday school motto, love, care, and share, is going to be what gets us through these times. Love each other and know that you're loved. Care for each other. Keep away from others as we've been told to do and share what we have. It will see the community come together and our church family stay together. So as I close today, know that you are loved, that you're thought of and you're in our prayers and we'll keep in touch through the week. Please post a message back to our young folk who want to put a wee video message up. Please do so in the comments and as we go forward, we uh, will post children's addresses and interactive ways that we can stay in touch. Take care, stay safe and God bless.